Well, hey, Mr. Blue and White. Were you just chewing on little Mr. Blue? Mr. Blue and White, you are something here. You are rambunctious right now, aren't you? That's not a good look. Let me get your ear for you. <sighs> ear tails. Did I not just tell you no? Did I not just tell you no? No. What do you got? You hold her down for me? I sure do appreciate the help. I surely do. Yeah, that's very helpful. Mr. Blue and Green, you're helping too? Thank you. Yeah, that's good dog. Oh my goodness, it's starting to pour out here. All right, well, that's one of the great things about our house, the way we had it designed. It's got porches everywhere. Covered porches, so four season living here. Yeah, four season living. They sit here and watch the, watch the rain come in. Yeah, nothing like watching some of them hurricanes come through. All right. Well, that's a pretty look. Look at that pretty sit. Yeah, well, you got a little bit of a slouch going on down there, but we can work on you. Yeah, a pretty nice looking dog right there, folks. Look how attentive he is. <sighs> Hard-headed Airedale. I, I am not, I am not having it, Missy. No moss. See that rear leg go up. Let's go right back to it. No moss. No moss. Got Bogart and Mr. Blue and White's time on the. He's trying to get somebody to come give him a home. You want some water? Don't worry, you can have some water. Yeah, blocking the way. He heard Mr. Mr. Little Blue here slurping. Yeah. Well, that's what you want. You want a little bit of water? All right, folks. Well, there he is. Having a pretty good day here. And it'll be even better now that the rain's come and cool things off. Talk to you guys then.